good day. This is smartwatchspecifications.com, the premier site for smartwatch specs, news, and reviews. On this video, we are going to pair our S9 M Mini smartwatch with the M2 Wear application. As you can see here on the QR code, the wearable is using the M2 Wear app. So it is available on Android and iOS platform. But on this video, we are going to use the Android smartphone. We will pair our S9 mini smartwatch with the M2 Wear app on the Android smartphone. So if you are interested to see if how the process on setting up your S9 mini with the support app, watch this video again. This is for the Android smartphone and of course, like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Support our our channel by subscribing and liking and sharing this video. Alright, so let's start. Again, we do have here the QR code M2 Wear. The QR code is also available here on the support app. So let's check. We have here, I guess, the QR code. Let's see if it's available here on the settings. Up view, time settings, let's see. We have here the QR code, M2 Wear. We'll not scan the QR code anymore. We'll just search it directly here on the Google Play Store. M2 Wear, as long as we have the correct app, we will be able to pair our smartwatch. So this is the support app. M to wear. Let's see the okay. So the same logo here. M to wear. So it's over 1 million plus downloads. So let's install the application on our Android smartphone. So 62.40 MB. Very lightweight app for our Android smartphone. Let's wait for it to finish downloading. And after that, it will automatically install in our smartphone. So we are on 80%, 93, 96, 99, and it is now installing. And as you can see here, it is now installed in our Android smartphone. So let's open the application. Alright, so let's open the app. Let's ready our smartwatch. So we have here privacy policy and user agreement. Let's agree to it. Our first permission here, access this device's location while using the app. Allow M2 Wear to access your physical activity. We'll allow it. And access your contact. Seems like every permissions is already activated here before we can open the app or before we can access the dashboard allow then for the gps we'll allow it this is for the bluetooth call make and manage phone calls let's allow it and view sms messages allow it access photos and media on your device i guess this is for the bluetooth phone Bluetooth photo control and music control function. Okay, and you are or we are requested to sign up or direct login. So you can use our Google or your email account. In our case, we are going to direct login. M2 Wear app. This account has been established. Then We'll wait for this and we'll, we will proceed. Okay. Enter nickname. We'll just use sample here. Down. Next step. Next. Mail. Okay. Then we'll just use local. I have read and agreed privacy policy this one if you want to store your data on the cloud if not you can use it you can use your smartphone to store the data 
tap on OK. So, settings, success. Okay, so we still need another notification permission for the app. Usually, this is for the applications. So, let's look for our app, M2Wear. Then, allow. Okay, go back. And now, as you can see, we are ready to pair our smartwatch. So, let's tap on this one. So, that is the watch faces. Maybe it's on a setting. So, okay. So, here it's on the settings. I thought this one. So, it looks like a smart watch. But, there's a watch face section. So, we have a lot of options here. So, let's add our device. It's now searching for our smart watch. So, we have several smart watches here. So, where is our wearable? We have T500 here. Let's verify. We don't have the name of the smartwatch here. Our smartwatch is S9 Mini. So let's check. Let's check the MAC address. General about. So we have here. Okay, I guess we have to check the Bluetooth address. CF8. Do we have it here? Yes, we have. Okay, it's on the bottom part. We have the name here. I thought it's just a smartwatch. We have it here. S9 Mini. Okay, so we have other smartwatches here. I guess we have two. And as you can see here, they have the same Bluetooth address. Okay, so tap on this one. So let's see if we'll be able to we'll be able to pair it with our S9 Mini smartwatch. It's now connecting connection failed again if not we will clear our bluetooth connectivity okay successful connection and as you can see here we are connected let's make sure let's use this one find device and we have it here okay so we have successfully paired our smartwatch and previously as you can see we already set the permissions for our wearable our system 12 and option is 12 hour format so we will use our 12 hour format time here drink water reminder what else do we have here notification reminder okay messenger let's activate some of the apps here so everything is okay now Telegram seems like it has been set including the SMS and the app notifications Health settings Will not activate this one. Okay, let's make the battery of our smartwatch Have a much longer time for usage Okay, sync time So let's change this one. Let's see if it is set to 12 hour format time. Okay, yes. Okay, I guess that's it for the pairing of our S9 Mini with the M2 Wear application. Very easy, very direct. And as you can see, every permission is already set. Okay, before you proceed to the dashboard of the support app which is very good okay again if you have any questions regarding the pairing of the s9 mini with the wear with the m2 wear support app on android smartphone drop a comment below like share and subscribe to our youtube channel bye